Slight hiccup. What's my immediate thoughts? Good morning. Should be a devil coming very soon. We had a good bit of rain last night, so I'm gonna nip up and see how that stone drain's looking this morning that we were at yesterday. Is the hole full of water or is it flowing away? I think we're good, it's not filled up. Obviously there's water in it, but it's all flowing. You can see it, which is what we like to see. Okay, good. Water's flowing in, but also water is flowing out. Good, good, good. Obviously it's a stone drain. It's not gonna be hugely powerful flow, is it? But currently any water that's coming in is exiting. So it's keeping up with the flow rate of the pipes coming in. We've got that pile to shift. We shifted a load yesterday, one load, there's probably another five in there. I'll check if this trailer's fit for feed. Almost needs a wee scrape out there. That trailer off, that dung trailer on, go and empty that. Probably go and do a load of silage while I've got the tractor here. Window could do with a clean. Good to go, let's dump this off. It's full. A bit windy today. We would like to get a bit of spraying done. We've got some foliar P, foliar phosphate, to get on some winter wheat and winter barley. Just the really kind of backwards crops with poor root systems. Oh, what a horrible wet mess. Four wheel drive on. Oh, you hate to see it. Squelch, 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 what a mess! Ooh. Fantastic. Scraping out the passages and then by the time I've done that, the demo should be here. While I've got Dad along here at the moment, he's just pitched up, he can help me put this door on. And I'll do that job done. There we go, demo's arrived, if you hadn't guessed. Spread a bill. All right, quickly hang this door, It'll take two seconds. See if it fits. Nah, the, we'll just need to adjust them. It'll be tight on that beam. Need to take the eyes out a wee bit. I'm just laying out a few bells. The spreader bell wants to pick them up once we've unnetted them. And obviously the spreader bell will be on the forklift, so. So I don't want to have to take it off and on and off and on. So if I make sure and set up enough that I know I'm going to need. Hold on, there's a rat trap in the way. You can go there. You can go there. Sanderson brackets are going on. They don't often do Sanderson brackets. So they've taken off, taken off these, whacked on the Sandersons. So we're good to go. Right, let's yoke it up. Slight hiccup, uh, the forklift ran out of diesel. Whoops. We've got a bale in it now though. So once we get this filled up, we'll get it in use. We're loaded up, we've got one bale on board. Sales guy says you're, you're better with one. Otherwise, you put another end, the one at the back just bungs up when the floor is rotating. Once we get left with it, we'll try it for two and we'll make that mistake and then keep doing it with one only. Normally in the morning when I feed them, they'll all be out the front here and I'll just lock them into the scrape passage, which I do normally. Righty-ho, so, so far, it works well. This forklift is definitely under capacity for it. I would say we're gonna go and get the other forklift tomorrow maybe and just see what it's like with that oil flow.
what's my immediate thoughts? Nice, simple machine. It's not got too many bells and whistles. It's basic, but basic in a good way. Second thought, if it was just gonna be on this fart lift, I wouldn't buy one. It's just an oil pump on this. It's only, it's 90 liters a minute, but it's 20 year old, so it's probably only 80. So that's why we're gonna bring the other fart lift along the road tomorrow, and see how that performs. So you open it up like that, it's just a double acting spool. That opens up, the bed draws towards me. Then I just go and scoop that bale up. Scoop that bale up while drawing the bed backwards. I've crushed that other bale in behind. There it goes, so it's just drawing it in now. Bale's in. Then you just turn the spool the other way, the door closes, the rotors start tearing and the bed goes that way rather than this way. Interesting to see what the fort lift, the other fort lift's gonna be like on it. I'm getting the sales pitch already. This is on old money's price. The prices have gone up since, so this one will be as cheap as I can get it. It'll be interesting to see how it lasts, because in theory, it's not matted. It is all fluffed up and spread out better. We'll see how it lasts. Quick nosy round, then I need to go and jump in the digger. So, there we go, spread the bell. This is a midi version, they call it. There's a mini, there's a midi, there's a, there's all different shapes and sizes. It fits a big square bell. That's, I wanted to demo this size, don't know whether we'd actually probably, the mini version is 900 mil shorter, um, which if you're sticking to just rounds, then we would probably go for something like that. Fluffy panels on the front here, you change the angle of the dangle, spits out straw at a wider angle. Two rotors on the front end, belt, floor, hydraulic ram there, hydraulic ram there, and to be quite honest, that is it simple the yoke up with the spools adjustment in the floor here to change the, the speed of the floor and the rotors just depending on what your oil flow in the forklift is so once i put the other forklift on i'll need to change it over when you're spooling in one direction it moves the floor forward turns the rotors through the center so that one goes that way that one goes that way and closes the front end via these hydraulic rams when you spool in the opposite direction the rotors do not rotate the rams open and the bed goes backwards. Very simple. I'll come back with the other forklift later to do another pen, see how much quicker it is, because it's a 120 litre a minute pump. This is a 90 litre a minute pump on a 20 year old forklift, so it's probably only actually 80 litres at maximum. This is a geared pump, the other one is a load sensing pump, so the other forklift is just very much better suited to this. So we'll try it on that and see what happens. Good solid design, this is the galvanised version. You get a painted version or a galvanised version. It's an HD, so you get normal spec or HD spec. I presume that stands for heavy duty, which is, oh, I, he explained it, but something to do with the oil flow. I've forgotten what he said. Yard one bound. Right, we'll red up this corner. Some's from Groundworks we're doing at the shop. Some of it is when the tatty guys were lifting Dragged up a hell of a dirt up here. So just clear all that up, clears the corner of the field, and get it ploughed, get it sown. Barley going in this field. Let's see if this will start. Without the jump leads. So. Come on! Oh, it was so close. Sometimes the day after you've been using it, it does go. But not today! Quick jump off of this machine. We're up and going. Let's put the other bucket on, load that up. You go like the first time, I love it when you do that. Gotta love it when you do that. I remember when we swat nature. Dad's away with the first load. We're not filling it chock a block because it's fairly wet all down there where he's taking it. And to be fair, it's probably got plenty in it, weight wise. Swing with dad coming up, here he comes. That's Medvin Castle by the way. That's a new home track there and that's a bus. And somewhere over there is my dog. There she is. Here she comes, I've just whistled her. From all the way over here. She heard me though, here she comes. Apologies for the wind. We're getting through it. Dad's dumped. Is that five loads? 
One, two, three, four, five. At least another three, I think. For the last hour, I've been staring into the sun. I really should have uh, set myself facing that way, but I just ruined my eyes, so it's fine. Anyway, it's just disappeared behind the shed. Beautiful. We're gonna make that do, last load. That's just gonna take that down. There's probably still, well, there's more than I thought there was left. We've done two since the last said, but that's probably another three loads left. Just about cleared up, another three loads or so, but I need to go and check the cows. Digger's working well, we've been getting a good lot of jobs done with it. Between Kev and I just, and we've got time to go and do this, that and the other, whether it's wee bits of drain or fixing ditches or cleaning up bits like this, or levelling out bits of ground, fixing bits of yard. What a right handy machine that is. Go on dog. Granted, we're not doing loads and loads and loads of hours in it, but so, so handy. Also, best bit, bit of kit we've bought for a long time is that fuel bowser. Fantastic. Saves so much time. Used to be through harvest. Right, we can, we'll have enough diesel to do that field, that field, and we need to make a route so we can get back to the yard to fill up with diesel there. But now, it's not even a thought, it's just, oh, the combine's just about empty. Fetch the bowser, dump it next to the combine, done. You've not got to get the header off to shift and go and get, Ugh, it's so good, so good. We've got the ad blue next to it. The hose reaches the combine, no problem. It takes a thousand litres of diesel. 200 odd litres of ad blue. Plenty, it's great, it's great. Even just sowing, ploughing, whatever. Don't need to leave the field. At yard four and yard three, we don't have fuel and we don't have tanks. And we don't have a yard at yard one, two now. So only got a fuel tank here at yard one. If you're doing any job along those, at those other yards and you have to come back here, you're... 40 minutes to an hour, by the time you fill up, yeah, you're an hour, an hour gone, just like that. But now, the tractor only has to stop the time it takes to fill the fuel into the tank. Fantastic. Yes, you've got to, someone else has got to move the bowser there and spend that time, but the machine is still moving in that time. That's the important bit. Anyway, let's go check some cows in the meaty green machine. Here's an example of how this machine definitely starts f no problem first time. Come on. Fingers crossed, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, girl, come on, here we go. And... Yep. Do you like my new hat, Harbro? They dropped off some free hats, six of them. What am I gonna do with six hats? Can I not get some free minerals or something like that, or a discount on the hen feed that we get bruised? I'd rather that than a hat. Good Scottish company, Harbro. Come on. That right, yard, two bounds. What a lovely evening. Half six still. Plenty of light. What a difference it makes. Hey Doug. Absolute beauty. Here's the pen we spread a build this morning. See what that's like come tomorrow afternoon and the day after's morning. Just the two bales in here, so see how it lasts. It's meant to reduce the matting you get because when you roll out a bale you get a, you quite often get a thick mat. And yeah, the cows push it about and fluff it a bit, but one of the benefits to spread a bale is that it, it's fluffing it all out and it's it's parting that mat, so you don't end up with any clean stuff in between. It's all used and it's all absorbing the moisture, it's all taking up the muck, therefore your straw goes further. Your pancake, come firing over for some grub. I've not got it yet, sorry buddy. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Still got that calf to feed, but cheers for watching. Somewhere down there is a thumbs up button. It helps me out. Doesn't cost you a penny. Thank you for watching again. Smashing. You've not got the right um, gear for in here. Oh, saliva. <laughs> Come on, you're like a city slicker. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm oh, saliva. I'm in my city slicker clothes. The city slicker. Comes to the countryside. Mm -hmm. cool.